Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. Today we are coming with again very very interesting topic in Oracle Rack and we called it as a split brain. This is also very important question in terms of interview and many times I saw that the interviewer is asking about the split brain. So you should know about this split brain. What is this concept all about? okay so in order to understand this concept first of all let me come to my screen and uh, so that the things will be much better and you'll understand it easily let's say uh, you are using this three node rack cluster okay so this is my first node uh, this is my second node and this is my third node okay and we will have a database which is shared in between this node so i will have this is my node 1 this is my node 2 and this is my node 3 and this is my database which is containing all my database related files over there and this node is sharing this database right so we have node 1 connected to the database node 2 connected to the database and node 3 which is again connected to the database now you know how these nodes are getting connected to each other these nodes are getting connected to each other by using the private IP address by using the private IP address there will be a very strong private IP, uh, network will be there so that they can share the data in between each other so what is this data all about right that's we need to understand let's say there is one user one he got connected to the node one and uh, he is trying to update some table so obviously you will have a logical table will be here okay and there is a salary called 1000 and this salary he is trying to change from 1000 to 2000 so i'll just write down here he is trying to change the salary from 1000 to 2000 assume that user 2 got connected from the node 3 user 2 got connected from the node 3 and he is also trying to change a same salary from 1000 to 2000 this is a salary now if there is a strong network if there is a private network what will happen whenever user one is trying whenever user got connected to the node one and he is trying to fetch this record for update purpose basically oracle will create a lock what it will do it will create an internal lock and then that lock will be shared that lock will be there so that the user 2 will not be access to that record user 2 will not be able to access to that because they, this record has been locked internally and how come user 2 cannot do that because user 1 is already connected from here and this information has been shared by the node 1 to node 3 that boss I am using this I am using this record from node 1 so node 1 is communicating to node 3 by using the IP address and they are saying that we have accessed this block in the memory right now for update purpose. I am going to update from the node 1. So you cannot update it from the node 3 because it's already there here and there is a lock internally. And this combination can be possible only because of this private IP address because there is a private network which is continuously running in between your node 1 node 2 and node 3 they are able to ping each other they are able to communicate each other now there is a situation that when this private network itself is not working this private work network because it's a network at the end there's a chances that this private network is not working then what will happen then there is a chances that if user 1 try to update a salary from 1000 to 2000 and this person is also trying to update a salary from 1000 to 3000 same salary same record and then there will be mismatch of data now the question comes like what will the user 3 if he is doing a select statement what he will get whether he will get 2000 or he will get 3000 because parallelly they are trying to access it that's a big problem right and this situation we are calling it as a split brain split brain so in this situation what oracle rack will do you know those node let's say this third node is not communicating by any chance and one node and two nodes are working okay these two nodes are communicating properly 
but third node is not communicating so what it will do it will evict that node it will evict means this node will not be a part of rack cluster only node 1 and node 2 only these two node will be the part of cluster only this node third node will not be the part of cluster and who will evict it the node 1 any node who is trying to communicate to the node 3 whoever come to know first that okay the this person is not responding this node is not responding he will evict that automatically so this node 3 will not be the part of your cluster anywhere this problem is very difficult you know in terms of when you have multiple nodes let's say i have a 10 nodes are there okay when i have a very big node okay uh, this is only three nodes let's say i have a 10 nodes are there 10 nodes are there assume that out of 10 nodes six nodes are communicating to each other and four nodes are communicating to each other so there is a two group six node and four node now what will happen so in that case there is a chances that we have a two cluster here right we have a four node cluster and we have a six node cluster so what will happen there comes the technique like those number of nodes because here we can see the count is obviously greater than four node so these nodes will be the part of rack cluster and this will not be a part of rack cluster so these four nodes cannot share the cannot share the data of your database your shared disk will not be accessible from here because this is not a part of cluster why four node is not a part of cluster because the count is more here the count is more and to make this decision also one more person is playing a very important role we called it as a voting disk voting disk so this voting disk what is that and all those things i'll discuss much in details maybe in next lecture but i hopefully you understand what is the concept of split brain whenever you see your log file and if such situation comes you can see split brain into your error message so i hopefully uh, considering that you understand the concept very well if you still have any issues you can just put it into the comment section again if you are looking for oracle dba completely real time database training you can reach out to me i'm going to start my new oracle dba batch in next two days so let's get connected and get started with this oracle dba training thank you bye bye